Morning folks, Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School, back in another in our series on five minutes to better bushcraft. I apologize if all of these videos are not five minutes long. They're not necessarily meant to be. It means in five minutes or less, we can do something to help ourselves put more tools in our toolbox for better bushcraft. So today, <clears throat> what we're going to talk about is putting a 90 degree spine on a knife that may not come with one standard so that we can use that knife better for striking a ferrocerium rod or for processing tinder materials and not necessarily compromise the blade of our knife in doing so or dull the blade of our knife in doing so. What I've got here is the Companion MG and it does not come standard with a 90 degree spine. It comes standard with a thicker blade and it's a very good option for a bushcrafting or backpacking type knife especially when coupled with something like a Baco Laplander and a small axe because you'll never be to the point where you need to baton this knife through very heavy material other than just possibly batoning it through small kindlings. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a quick 90 degree spine on this knife using a mill file. We're going to talk through that real quick and then we'll demonstrate how this knife works on a ferrocerium rod and for processing something like fatwood material. Okay, one thing that we need to understand really quick about putting a burr or sharpening the spine is that anytime we take a file and sharpen the spine of this knife, we're going to push a burr to one side or to the other. What we want to make sure of is that the burr is on the correct side. We want it on the side we're going to strike with. So if I am left-handed, I want the burr pushed to this side to take advantage of that burr when striking a ferro rod. So I want to make sure that when I put my knife in a jig or in some type of vise that I'm pushing the burr to that side and then the opposite side if I am right handed. So I'm going to place my knife in the correct orientation. Again, I want the burr on this side and I'm going to place it into a bench vise sticking up about a quarter of an inch in that vise and then take a file that's either marked axe file which means I know it's a mill file or when it's marked mill file, and this one is a Nicholson file. I bought this one off of Amazon. And then I'm going to proceed to square that spine off, cutting in one direction, in the direction I want that burr to be. It's not necessary to go all the way down the entire spine of that knife, but it won't hurt anything. And it doesn't take a long period of time to get this done. Just a few strokes will do the job. Now, I can check it to see if there's a burr built up on one side. And I can also check it with my ferrocerium rod to see what I've accomplished. You can see it strikes a ferro rod very, very good now. And it will also process tinder very well at the same time. Now that we've sharpened up the spine of our knife, we should be able to very easily use it to process fatwood materials and fine shavings like this. As long as we can get those nice big shavings like that, we're going to easily be able to affect fire as well. All right, guys. Well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for this short segment on Five Minutes to Better Bushcraft, sharpening the spine of your knife. I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.